there have been a lot of requests to watch a certain channel. There is a channel on the internet that is full to the brim of the one thing that we here on the Coney stream love more than anything. That one thing is animals! That's right, we love animals. If you don't like animals, get the f out of here. And we found a channel, Casual Geographic, who's apparently huge. And I saw a little bit through this one, and uh, I liked it. So we're going to watch a couple movies and learn about some of our favorite creatures. All right, I did, I did want to watch this one. These are the 10 most disrespectful animals. This is definitely the one I'm starting with. Black Air Force Energy. Good old Urban Dictionary defines it as a person or an object that has insane potential and is crazy enough to deal with anything without fear or hesitation, regardless of moral alignment, including its own rivals or competitors. I've never heard of that. This, in my generation, was called uh, a honey badger. It, like, it was the honey badger thing. That's like a millennial thing. Your generation is so cringe. Dude, I know. I fucking hate millennials. So here's a full list of the top 10 animals with the most black Air Force energy. Some animals are an obvious pick. Others might just surprise you. Starting off is what happens when an animal is too smart for everyone else's quality of life. The Kia is a large parrot that can be found terrorizing the people of New Zealand. A Kia? Like the car? <laughs> They're highly intelligent I like the and color. with a hook-shaped beak, which that is the perfect painful. tool for Kias to inflate insurance by picking apart cars. What the fuck? See, the Kia is smart enough to associate people and the cars we drive with food, which is why this anti-mechanic is famous for committing the cutest car No way! You've ever seen. This feather felon will go through purses, backpacks, duffel bags, and swear anything fuck these guys. away with. There was even a case where this airborne pirate stole the passport of a Scottish man that didn't want to be identified. Because no one wants to be remembered for getting denied from your home country because you got your passport pickpocketed by a panhandling parry. Yeah, I, I would straight up not tell anybody what happened. What happened to you? Oh, a rhino. A rhino, actually. A rhino hit me and ripped my pants, and the passport was in the pants. You sure it was a rhino and not a little bird? Yeah, man. Definitely not a little bird. If you happen to get your wallet snatched and try to see the Kia about it, be prepared to also eat a several thousand dollar fine and even jail time. Kias what? are protected by the government because it only makes sense that something with wings would be above the law. Come and it's on, like dude. Every really? Knows it and acts accordingly. I would I would grab it by its beak and twirl it around my finger and then like a rubber band into a tree. And then he would break open and he would turn into a rotisserie chicken. And then I would go to jail, apparently. I would get in trouble and I would go to jail. Legitimate I'd be fined 13000 The next dollars. animal's responsible for putting more zookeepers on workers' comp than any for other what? animal. For what? But where blissful sure, ignorance yeah. makes deer a threat, the deer of down under initiate conflict. Nine out of ten car accidents in Australia. Wait, in that is a deer, isn't it? I've never made the connection from kangaroo to deer until I see it straight up. I always thought, like, kangaroos are just big rats. It's a big rat, right? Everything in, in Australia is a fucking rat. They're all just mammals, which is why they hate cats so much. Nine out of ten car accidents in Australia oh, involve he, kangaroos, bouncing, and a good bro. number of them are premeditated. Oh, and not no, by the driver. shit. Kangaroos Don't get out of the car. Don't get out of the car. Oh, no. Insurance fraud. Oh, he squared up with a fucking car. Oh, no, look out. Oh, the React Wars champion. The React Wars champion comes back once again. What a throwback on that one. In case you're new here, that video won React Wars, I'm pretty sure, uh, a few seasons ago. First React Wars 6. Bro, look at the airtime! <laughs> it has everything. There's an animal, there's a loud noise, there's a doo doo, doo doo, like an outside sign. It's so good. That and the fact that kangaroos start every day with the specific goal of inconveniencing as many life forms as possible. If you happen to fly a drone in kangaroo country, prepare to have your insurance <laughs> tested. In fact, it's not a stretch to say they hate anything that flies. Can you imagine how ridiculous this could have gotten? Imagine people thinking you died paragliding when really you survived but got mobbed by a pack of royal rabbits on impact. This is horrifying. Oh my god, they come in like a pack too? Imagine you're dropping into Australia, okay? You're coming down. You're coming all the way down into a new server. Anything that flies. And then you get fucking ganked by five of these assholes. Oh my god! It's horrifying. It's so fucking scary, dude. What is his problem? We put gloves on a kangaroo? Would that even help you? That wouldn't even save you, right? You need gloves so it can't cut your throat. I mean, you're still fucked up, right? And until nature airdrops some bears or maybe some type of big cat, kangaroos are still going to be out here thinking they can do whatever. Oh, that's Try to true. change their mind at your own risk. So, did I tell you guys about my, my trip to Australia? Hold on. Okay, so at the Sydney Zoo, there's like a walk thing that you walk through the kangaroo exhibit. Except you walk through it, and there are no cages, and no bars, and no doors. 
And when my wife and I went there, and keep in mind, my wife is pregnant, there were three of these things laying in the walkway, literally, like, on the path. And they're just chilling. They're not, like, acting aggressive or anything. They're laying like this. But it's still, like, I'm scared to death. I'm like, is the kangaroo gonna, like, know that my wife's pregnant and, and get crazy? I was trying so hard not to draw aggro. We literally walked around the rock. <laughs> we gave them the whole floor. Okay, yeah, it was like this. It was like this. All right, now, <laughs> oh, my God. If you're talking about the Black Air Force of the Sky, you're probably talking about crows. Boo! Boo! Hate birds. Oh my god, it's so smart. <laughs> we love crows. I don't give a shit. But they're also devious enough to manipulate other animals for their own sadistic pleasure. I don't sadistic. know what that crow That's said in that word. cat, but sadistic. it certainly involves someone's mother. Ravens will weaponize their relationship with wolves to call out hits on competing coyotes. Crows in Tokyo have especially <laughs> oh become god. a problem where they've basically gone to war against the entire human population. There might not be a worse time to be an owl than in broad daylight surrounded by a murder of crows. That's horrifying. Not to mention, crows will often raid the nests of other birds for a disturbingly literal kid's meal. And that's when they're not just straight up snatching miners in front no! of No, 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 no. The fuck is their problem? Who said that they loved crows? Who would chat cancel them? Can we cancel everybody in the chat that said that they like crows? These guys are assholes. They're killing babies. That's your goat. But the avian onslaught peeks out <laughs> with the Australian magpie. Now, turns out they're not actually corvids. They oh. actually sit closer to another bird with psychopath tendencies. Either way, Australian magpies manage to be the most feared thing in a country seasoned with crops, yeah, magpies are assholes. and snakes. Magpies are like many Australians things, have yeah. taken to wearing helmets to protect themselves from the magpies' malicious intent, <laughs> especially during swooping season, where magpies swooping will relentlessly season? attack anything that gets near their nest. Actual human oh lives God. have been lost to this goth Tweety's tantrums. Who? Who's dying to a magpie? If I lived in Australia, I would bring a baseball bat anywhere I went. What if you miss? D then I swing twice. What the fuck? It was really only a matter of time before the river rhino made an appearance. Widely yeah. considered the world's deadliest mammal, you may have noticed that hippos weren't included in the big five. Oh I have God, to assume huge. that's because nobody that has a desire to see the next day would actually hunt them. Arguably, no animal has a harder working PR team than a hippopotamus. I was literally just about to say that. Like, it, it's kind of unbelievable how much... Hippos are not framed as being murderers. Like, hippos are, are framed as these big, lovable, huggable sort of teddy bears. They're not really treated like these homicidal maniacs. A thin subcutaneous fat layer means hippos are actually walking units. And despite their awkward appearance, hippos can outpace oh any God. human over short distances. And that oh includes on land and in water, where they somehow become even more territorial. Just when an antelope thinks it's been bailed out, the slaughter horse does origami with its spine. And even though they're supposed to be herbivores, oh. every once in a while they'll give into the temptation of tasting the flesh of their victims. No, but this one's nice. I wonder what a what a baby like. Could you domesticate a little tiny hippo, like the size of like a pomeranian? That'd be kind of cute. No, you don't think so? Hippo skulls look like xenomorphs. Wait, what? <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! I saw this in Annihilation. It stole that lady's voice. That's horrific. Like I said, nobody's PR team Aww. works harder. Except maybe dolphins. Which makes sense, since despite resembling ungulates like warthogs and rhinos, the hippo's closest living relatives are actually cetaceans like dolphins and whales. Yeah, it looks more like a manatee. I would think that shit was a manatee. A hippo is like a manatee that swam to Africa and got mean. Definitely a mermaid. Dude, I would hate to be a pirate. You see a hippo or a manatee and you're like, yarr. She be, she'll fulfill me wishes. Go back and get the mermaid. And you go to there and it's just a fucking seal. There's just a dog underwater. You're like, what the fuck is this? The only thing that can make this whale Karen more of a menace than it already is, is if it were a straight up predator. Or if it hunted in packs. Then again, that would literally make it an animal further down this list. As much as I love them, elephants can be a devastating combination of smart enough to do anything and big enough to get away with it. <laughs> Earlier this year, a man in Thailand had an elephant working hauling wood in the brutal heat. Which is illegal. And apparently the elephant knew his rights because he proceeded to rip his boss in half. And of course, we gotta address the el- I'm better than that. One elephant traveled over 100 miles to murk a 70 year old woman collecting water. Only to pull up to her funeral to attack the soul evicted body, this time in front of her family. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot about that. An elephant went to go kill someone, and then it showed up to her funeral. And how did the elephant get the address? That's always what got me. Is like, how? who told the elephant where to go? And the time. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> An elephant doesn't have a watch. Elephants never forget. Yeah, but who told him to begin with? Elephants can't learn that. 
How do they understand the concept of a funeral? Elephants have funerals themselves? Really? Kind of scares me. Any animal that starts getting too smart, we should just... As soon as you start having funerals and gathering in social places, we gotta like... You know, like AI. Yeah, basically just cut the losses, you know. Now, to be fair, poaching typically targets older oh, that bulls. Research cute. shows that without old heads around. Oh, that's an old elephant. Oh, I didn't know they turned white. Oh, that poor guy. He's so cute. They must a lot sooner than they should. And if elephants wore shoes, they'd rock the biggest black air forces the world's ever seen. Uh -huh. That's only because the next animal on this list does. Bro, leave that turtle alone. <laughs> what the fuck is this problem? The elephant, if he wanted to, he could just step on it. But he's just being an asshole. Hey, come on out, big guy. <laughs> ban everybody that said tortoise. Don't you fucking tortoise me. It's a fucking turtle. It's just a big turtle. One of the biggest injustices of cinema is that where dolphins got cast as a lovable Boo! Flipper, I hate dolphins. Sharks got typecast as jaws. Boo! hate sharks too. Anything from the ocean. Simple as. Dolphins are the most disrespectful beings in the ocean. <laughs> Makes sense because they're basically oh, intelligent yeah. hydrogen. What the dolphins fuck? are the Look most Look at the accuracy! Beings. That one is kind of, that was just a shoulder tackle, right? That's a John Cena Makes sense move of doom. This motherfucker is tactical, like a torpedo. A... <laughs> but we can't talk about dolphins without talking about the biggest dolphin. <laughs> the orca is the most dominant apex oh predator on the planet. Oh my god. Okay, I guess he does that in free willy, right? Like the idea is you know they can jump that high. But holy fuck shit. I've never actually seen it in real life. SeaWorld? That's the thing. I've been to SeaWorld. Uh, maybe it was after all the Blackfish stuff. <laughs> maybe maybe Shamu was uh, out of season. I've seen dolphins do shit, but never this high. Oh, my God. A force that great whites have been known to abandon hunting grounds for up to a year once this steroid quality guppy makes an appearance. A year, pussies. Probably because they've been known to use oh! the biology against them to rob them of their heart and liver just to leave the rest of the shark to sink to the abyss. All right, never mind. Yeah, get the fuck out of there. Get the fuck out of there. <laughs> Oh my god. Why, if you ever feel bad about oh! getting bullied by seals, I suggest you see what happens when a Navy SEAL joins the Air Force. Bro, what? How does an orca know that its tail will do this? Th this is knowledge of physics and anatomy. To know that your tail could fling a small creature 70 feet into the air. It's not for any other reason? You don't think so? I think a tail is for like... You hit the tail to slap people. You smack people with the tail. Not the other way. While oh you could chalk God. this up to hunting strategy, there's also the chance that living life on Roku difficulty means orcas get bored and just start trying stuff. Either way, orcas are the humans oh. of the sea, and anything that steps to them gets reminded expeditiously. Oh. Even I would have died. I'm a, I'm a seagull, actually. I'm a seagull. I definitely would have been like, oh, shit, thank you. We're friends. I got hit there. Yeah. The only thing more black air force than an animal that griefs everything around it would be an animal that commits atrocities against its own kind. And that's why orcas are only number three. This guy better not put... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. I was going to say, this guy better not put humans at number one. Or mosquitoes. Fuck chimps. We Ask hate chimps on the coast. What animal they fear the most. If they don't say chimps, they've never worked with one. A common True. misconception, their ability to use tools is fascinating to watch. Until you realize that means they're able to create and <laughs> use weapons. People often forget that chimpanzees are pack hunting predators able to execute attacks with the precision of early man. And that doesn't just apply to their prey. Chimps seem to have an understanding I of what's chimps. important to an animal and they go out of their way to remove it. It's I why I can chimps. show you this picture and you'll understand. And it's also yeah. why you probably have a better chance of surviving being locked in a room with a lion than in a room with a furry chainsaw with a How did this guy get over there? Did he not make the exit? Did, was this guy in a zoo and they're like you gotta get you gotta get the fuck out we're closing the gates in 30 seconds all the animals come out of the zoo at 4 p.m it's like madagascar it is, uh, every the zoo just go, goes wild 4 p.m every day better get the fuck out of there wait do i have enough new viewers to talk about the orangutan the annual orangutan do you guys know about the annual orangutan you guys don't know about it <laughs> don't bring it up hey if i bring it up we're gonna be talking about it for the whole stream the annual orangutan, I think, is a very fascinating concept, and I would love to discuss it more. Really? And now at number one to absolutely no one's surprise. I might be surprised. The honey badger. The most oh, god damn it. He is a millennial. I do more of this shit. I can't. Oh, honey badger don't care. Honey badger don't give a fuck. I can't. 
I did fucking hate this meme. They'll raid the hives of African bees. The same bees that are 10 times meaner and sting 10 times more than their European cousins. And honey badgers aren't immune to bees. They're resistant, but enough stings will flatline a honey badger. These prison ferrets also run fades with highly venomous cobras. If they manage to get bitten, they'll just slip into a cobra Aww. and lose coma and then wake up hours later and walk it off like a Sunday morning. Hey. <laughs> That's the most metal fucking thing I've ever heard. You get bit by a poisonous snake and take a nap. You just shut down for like 12 hours. Your body is just like, all right, fuck this. That's cool as hell, dude. I wish I could put myself into a coma. Dude, I would hibernate if I could. If I could respec my genes, I would give myself hibernation. And I'd be like, hey, I'm out from December to February. Not while you're a dad. She would get my genes. <laughs> she hibernates with me. We hibernate from December to February as a family. But that's gonna do it for this video. For more consistent- Does he really use this mic? I feel like he uses a real mic that's off camera. Cause I don't think that mic could get this quality. I like this. We'll watch one more in a second. Uh, but in the meantime, okay, chat. I have a hypothetical for you. And hey, maybe this will get to YouTube actually. Cause this is, this might go on YouTube. You have two worlds in front of you. Okay, you cross a very shitty genie, an evil wizard, okay, and he lays out two hypotheticals in front of you. One of them is that you cannot start a car ever without killing a chicken. Doesn't matter how you do it, it's just when you get in the car, a chicken will spawn and you have to kill it. Or a goblin, that's the other one, right? It's a goblin, I've heard both. Chicken is a little bit too easy. All right, we go goblin then. You have to kill, kill a goblin. Or you have to deal with the annual orangutan. The annual orangutan will spawn one time every year. The orangutan is carrying a broadsword and he can spawn at any time. Which one would you do? I already regret this. Is the goblin hostile? Yes! He's a fucking goblin and he lives in your car. You have to kill a goblin to start a car. So if you work, you have to kill one to go get there and then one to go home. Where can the orangutan spawn? Literally anywhere, at any point. I think plane is the worst part, because everybody says, oh, I would just carry a gun all the time, because you only have to kill him once. You only have to kill him one time for that whole year, and then you're done. So if he spawns in January, you're done for the whole year. Can he spawn while I'm sleeping? Yes, but you will be alerted. The music will wake you up. Can he double spawn on New Year's? If you are extremely unlucky, yes. If I'm in a crowd, does the orangutan only target me? Yes. He only goes for you. The orangutan spawns within 100 yards of you, and you can hear he has a tracking thing. So you can't hide from him. He has a homing system. And he doesn't despawn until you kill him. Can he unlock doors? Yes. He will get to you. He knows how to get to you. You can't just let him... How about this? If you don't kill him within an hour, you die. You can't be his friend. You cannot be his friend. You cannot be his friend. Don't ask that. Oh, can I rationalize with him? No. I think you have to kill the... <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of questions. Just take the goblin, you guys. Just take the goblin. This is stupid. I love our little orangutan discussion because it's always the same. This is the problem with the orangutan discussion. It goes on for like an hour and nobody asks a single fucking question about the goblin. People are like, how big is the goblin? Okay, let me ask 50 questions about the fucking orangutan. All right, editor, just cut this whole hypothetical. I, 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 I inflicted it upon Twitch. I don't think YouTube wants to hear it. <laughs> Why not throw it a cactus before I go in the ocean? I hate the fucking ocean. Finally, a reason to not go in there. And squid is believed to grow up to 26 feet long. Wait, that thing's real? I always thought this was like a, a creepypasta. I didn't know that, that was real. That's in the ocean right now. But by far the scariest thing about this hell squid... We know almost nothing about it. We don't know how they mate, how they live. All we know for sure is that you can find them at the very bottom of the ocean at depths of up to 15,000 feet, which is more than half the height of Mount Everest. Oh my Here's God. the part that personally freaks me out. Every big fin ever caught was a juvenile, and since no adults have ever been captured, it's possible <laughs> they could be even bigger than we thought. Oh my God. Capture two of them, raise them, and then make them have, have babies. And then we can learn from them. We could probably make like a, a dank, dark cavern in a lab. Reasons why this is your new favorite fish. Not me. Even though they can be up to 23 feet over 3,000 pounds, they're 100% perfectly harmless to people because they only ever eat plankton and small nope, shrimp. Don't like Unlike that. Unlike stingrays, they're not venomous. This giant place oh. couldn't hurt you if it wanted to. Wait, that's 
that's not a stingray? What? Oh, it's a manta ray, right? That's a manta. They're smart enough to understand mirrors because manta rays were seen waving and blowing bubbles at their own reflection. Something oh, they wouldn't like do that. if they thought it was another manta ray. Manta rays will launch like themselves that. out of the ocean, and they do it to get rid of parasites or to avoid predators, but sometimes it seems like they do it just for fun. All right. They have the I'm largest brain like of any them. fish. Is that its mouth? I didn't know they could open up that much. Baby manta rays are called pups, and the mother will give birth to one or two pups every year. Babies! Only one or two? Well, a year. Never mind. That's a lot. They're normally black, a dark brown, or a grayish blue, but there are pink manta rays out there, and no, this is not edited. Oh my god! I want that one! Look at the little... It's a Lolan! Look at the pink manta ray baby! Oh! I killed those things in Mario Sunshine. Mods! Get that guy! Get him! They're smart enough to form strong emotional bonds with each other, and they're smart enough to ask for help. One repeat... They ask for help? Immediately approached the diver until he realized that she had a fish hook stuck under her eye, and she waited patiently as he removed it. Once he removed it, she swam off. Oh my god. Alright, I like mantas. Mantas, I've always liked mantas because I thought they were cute, but I thought it was just because they look like a fucking alien. It looks like a, like a sea kite. I was like, oh, that's different. But now I have a reason to love them. Alright, maybe one more. Maybe one more. When nature gets a little too creative. Quick vision test. You have three seconds to find it starting now. Uh, there. Sna oh, it's a hydra! Oh, fuck! That's a fucking hydra! In the wild! Alright, I. it's a bug, right? It, like, right here? Is that a bug? Alright, time's up. Right if here? you counted three snakes, you're wrong. Because those aren't snakes, that's actually a moth. Specifically, it's an- A moth? They're one of those animals nature told the f*** off. Because in their adult form, they can't eat because they don't have a mouth. I hate moths. Just fucked up butterflies. Nature gave them two fake snakes and no mouth. I love moths. You're being a contrarian if you like moths. Because butterflies, you're conditioned to like and you're told to like. And you're like, I actually like moths. So to protect themselves and eventually the eggs they lay, they use their wings to cosplay as snakes to scare off anything that could be a threat. By the time their life trial ends, their eggs are ready to hatch and continue the generational jihad that is their existence. Ugh. If God has favorites, this moth ain't one of them. No, kill them. This animal's proof that nice guys don't always finish last. Oh my last. god. This is a gelata baboon. It's the world's most intimidating vegan, and they can roll in groups of up to 600. Oh, they, like, that peel off their lip, right? Vibrance. Yeah, fuck these and things. Usually, it's the oh, biggest, dude. meanest monkey that earns the right to mate with all the females in the area. But researchers found that oftentimes, females will slip away and hook up with the less aggressive, lower-ranking beta males. So to avoid getting found out, the gelatas will suppress the mating noises they usually make to avoid drawing attention to themselves. Since these gelatas will typically make these loud cries in the act, you know it's the quiet couples that be doing something they ain't supposed to be doing. I don't think that just applies to monkeys, but that's besides the point. Wait, can they not help themselves? I don't want to go d down too far into this, and I don't want to know too much about it. Humans literally do this. Yeah, but humans also could, like, straight up not make a sound, and I thought animals could just not do that too? Will the orangutan do this? Stop. Researchers also found that cheating couples that were caught and confronted ended up doing it again but being more secretive about it. <laughs> and it turns out females are starting to lose interest in the hyper-aggressive alpha macho males and paying more attention to the nicer, respectful beta males. Oh, that's sweet. Hey, nice guys, we won. Gamers, rise up. Rise up. It's our time now. And apparently these nicer males will do things like groom her and even babysit the children of other monkeys just to earn her approval. <laughs> Moral of this video, can't call it simping if it works. This panda... <laughs> That's funny. That's this guy's funny. That's good. Friendly reminder that nice. no matter how bad life gets, you will never be this snail. This is Jeremy. Jeremy was a garden snail with a mutation Aww. that made his shell coil to the left instead of the right. And because his organs were also in the wrong direction, he couldn't mate with other snails. And scientists Aww, spent years, man. like actual years, trying to find another lefty snail so Jeremy wouldn't have to die alone. Jeremy? There was even a viral hashtag lefty snail to help find Jeremy another. <laughs> Eventually, they found two possible options, one from England, one from Spain, all with the same one in a million lefty mutation. Okay. But then the two snails ignored Jeremy and started mating with each other instead. <laughs> no! What the fuck? No! Jeremy! Eventually, Jeremy was able to find another partner, and this time he did make it to the end zone. Then he died, and none of his 56 alleged children had his mutation. I say alleged because it turns out his partner actually made it with snails before him, so we have no way of knowing how many of their children were actually his. Oh my fucking god. Yeah, she had multiple people? But, well, multiple snails. Multiple da dads? <laughs> fucking Jeremy, dude. Good channel. I'm into this, dude. I, I, I hit a cheeky sub. I think I'll keep watching this guy's stuff. I'm a fan. I like this guy. He's funny.